Mind you, yeah. I want to remove this thing and see what it looks like. If we can hibble it, move it to another another SSD and see what's up. So this will be the first time saying this. So let's get started. There's nothing on that side, so we'll just push it out there. Lower the heat. Okay, so the actual thing, the memo itself, it's out or off. I've been building that table for you guys. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like at the bottom. So, that's on the side. This is what it looks like. not bad at all okay so we'll take this guy off let's clean this thing out and we'll move it onto another ssd um let's see if it's not married to that controller we shall be fine because basically i'm moving to a similar but the other one there it's a uh, what do you call it it's for uh, series s So to me, I would say rebolling this is easier because as you can see, it's big. You want to reboll things with big solder balls, man. <laughs> I'm doing this for years. That's that's the way to go. Always reboll things with so, uh, bigger solder balls. It's easier. Less headaches. About to find out if this memory is linked or not. So I think since I have the same brand, should be fine. But you know, since it's electronics, we never know. That's why I'm taking this chance here. At this stage, it doesn't matter whether it works or not because it's already there. So that's looking good. Uh, let's clean up this table. I need a better bench. This one here is just a little bit of heat. It's popping up already. Okay. Let's zoom out. Don't need to be that close no more. So this is what it looks like. Um, let me see. Okay, let's apply some flux. I'm sure I have a stencil that can fit here easily. Looks like a 055. So let's pass it for some stencils. I'll be back. Okay, so I think I got the right stencil. Uh, when you look at this, it's a 05. Uh, I'm not sure we'll see there. Uh, okay, let me turn on the light over here. So yeah, there we go. So it's a 05. So it's, yeah, it's pretty easy. Simple reball, just regular reball. Not much to do there. Um, okay, let me cut the scissor, piece of tapes, and then uh, we'll get started. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Where are we?
to basically almost there. Um, the date will be dated tomorrow. Okay, so let's go. Doesn't take long actually. <laughs> the balls are attached already. If I need to push them down, uh, this guy here. Come on now, go back in there. I like to push it when it's hot. So, okay, just that. Apply some plugs. It's not bad actually. I thought it would be worse, but the patterns are simple, just straight patterns like NVIDIA's. Yep, I think we're done. We are done. Let's give it a few seconds to fall down. That's about it. So now we need to take from that Series S. Uh, we'll see if they are married or not. But the thing is, I know what I'm the doubt I'm having is that the Series S it's a 500 gigs, so the partition is a 500 gigs partition. So the maybe there is some difference. I don't know. I'm just you know, just guessing right now. So this is one TV. The other one is a 500 gigs. So maybe there is some difference on the controller or whatever. I don't. Know. So your guess is as good as, good as mine. Um, okay, let's remove this. Okay, yeah. We have a rebuilt SSD uh, <laughs> or storage, whatever you call this, NAND. Uh, yeah, NAND flash. It's looking for that name there. Okay, so it's looking good. It's looking pretty. You can always hit it up again, just make sure. But to me, I think everything is fun, yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's move on to the Series S. Okay, guys, so uh, this was removed already and has been rebuilt. So now we need to remove the the one from the Series S. Uh, I know it's a 500 gig, but I just want to try. So, Series S, I just want to remove this and try and see if it's... If these two chip here are married, if all of them are married, or which one is married. But now, for now, for today, I will just try to swap the NAND flash. Okay, so, I'm doing it this way. Let's apply some plugs. I'm burning this bench here. For content. <laughs> oh my god, okay. We need to make sure. Okay, at first is this way, yeah? Make sure that there is that uh, QR code up so we don't get it twisted when you put it back in place. Okay, let's see. Let's come closer. Okay, let's go. I know this console here, yeah, this Series S, um, had some RAM issues. So I know for sure that this SSD here yeah, should be fine. But you never know, man.
Okay, it's moving already. There we go. Now we'll just go with our lead solder, collect all the solder hanging around there. Add some flux, clean up. Okay, let's get some. Uh, See, blocking the light there. It's not a difficult process. Uh. Are we gonna have a working series S? X actually, not even S. Or not? This angle is killing me. I don't need this no more anyway. Okay, we're good there. Let's spray a little bit. Don't have to clean it up, but you know. And just put that other chip there on top of it there, it will do just fine, it will stick just fine. So we try and experience here, if it works, great, if it doesn't, well, we've tried. Um, okay, let's see if we'll be able to see the difference there on numbers, part numbers. Could be just the same part number. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'll flip it. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Huh? So 6625 something there, if you're able to see there. Uh, okay. I don't think we will. Yeah, so if you can make it out, great. Okay, so this guy here, this is the five, the five tab, I think. And then this one here, where's the one TB? I had a one TB in my hand. So this is the one TB here. Is the one TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's just go. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's apply flux. I think I did apply flux already. Um, okay, so this goes here. You need to move it to the center. Okay, this thing is, is sticky. It shouldn't be sticky. I was pulling it back. Okay, so let's move. I think it's in the center. Okay, so let's reflow now. See the chip dropping. I think we 
met contact. Try again. Okay, just a nudge test. Yep. So we just swapped the NAND flash on the series S, I think. So we took a series X flash. We move on. We we'll move it onto a series S. <laughs> the series S uh, SSD. So now we just need to wait a little bit to cool down and then we'll test it onto the Series X and see if the Xbox boot into the dash. Okay, so what I just explained, will, it will go on and off. You just press and on and off, on and off, and on and off. So yeah, since it's the same brand, I'm hoping that this chip here is not linked, this NAND flash is not linked to these two guys here. If it is, well, this will be the end of it. Yeah, I think we should be good. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. Those are good looking joints there. Okay, so I think we should be good here. Let's clean it up a little bit. Okay, so moment of truth is coming. Moment of truth is on his way. Should be here soon. Was this a waste of time? Oh, we just gained some knowledge here. Okay, I'll be back. Let's try to put that thing together. See if it's gonna work. It's not working, guys. Still not working. <laughs> 